Greetings everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and so um, I got two new characters, we got Kuki and we got Tabe. Yes, these are the two new characters that are uh, joining our group for today um, But we're going to be continuing with the story, so this is where we left off I just want to finish Fontaine, I don't know how, what's, what's left of it But let's just get through this, I have until 6, so hopefully I can finish this game by 4 yeah, or not finish the game, but Excuse finish. Me, this, this video is not gonna be that long. Do you need I'm hoping so. Us? Just because it's turn three, um, blue three. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I do. Hello. Oh, hey, Navia's all quiet. This isn't like her at all. Let's not bother her for I'm now. I'm sorry that I only came to visit after all this time. After what happened, I didn't know how I was supposed to face the two of you. If it's about that. There's no need to apologize. After my husband died, Spina di Rosula sent us a lot of Mora and support. I understood your guilt and apology to be genuine. But aren't all of those things nothing compared to the loss of Jacques? <sighs> Who's that? I can understand the kind of pain that comes with losing a father so needlessly. You don't understand at all. What do you mean I don't I didn't understand? Know how to face you. Or, or he, because I didn't know what I could possibly roughly. bring as a consolation gift. Rosefall's dead too, little girl. You're not special. I know. Only the full truth could bring closure to you. And to all of us. I'm sorry. I appreciate the sentiment. But you don't have to carry all that guilt. On the matter regarding my husband, my daughter and I have more or less found our answer already. Would you mind sharing it with me? I really can't believe that my father could ever bring himself to shoot Jacques. I always knew that my husband's money was earned through others' suffering. He told me countless times that if he could turn back the clock, he would never go into the synth business again. He had many regrets, and felt that he took the idea of providing for his family too literally. For the longest time, he thought Mora was everything. Damn. So when Mr. Callis Bro, came greedy. to him with a proposal, he accepted it almost immediately. He tried to be as careful as he could, but even so, he was still found out by the higher-ups. They found out about his betrayal? Papa didn't say that exactly, but Papa did tell me that I should never be ungrateful. Little girl. Before he left that day, he told me that he had no choice. It I have only no choice. Later that I realized it was his final farewell to the two of us. Someone ordered Jacques to take. I don't that. know that for sure, but you could say that's the conclusion I eventually came to. I see. Which is why I'm the one who should feel guilty. Callus had always taken great care of us, both when he was still alive and after he passed away. Even if he fired the shot that killed my husband, it was likely in self-defense. It is impossible for me to hate him for what he had done. But Mama, why is Papa still the bad guy if he did the right thing? Papa always wanted to be a good man, so why did he have to do a bad thing in the end? Because well, he did. Things aren't always as they seem. You still feel- Yeah, Papa was a really good man. The uh -huh. best in the whole world. Uh, then sure. you should hold on to that. If a good man had to do a bad thing, then he must have had his reasons. Regardless of whether he left you a parasol or a sword, he must have done so to give you a better life. Mm-hmm. Oh. Thank you for everything you've told me. I will definitely find the truth. I the will definitely. The current state of things is not something I'm willing to just sit back and accept. Thank you. I'm very grateful to hear this from you. Even okay. though your personality is quite different from your father's, your determination when you speak is really similar. I want to go see Farida really already, bro. So? You like? <laughs> That's the first time anyone said that to me. Okay, testimony from Jacques' family. Okay, my cord's in the way. Now where do I go? We gotta go to talk to okay, Florent. Oh shit, Florent. Okay. I'm fine. Don't um, worry. Let's investigate yeah, the three I have, like, suspects two, next. Two healers in my team now. Um, and Farina we be and, uh, and, and Uncle Kuki, Marcella but pretty, I'll get myself pretty together goaded. on the way. Cookie's so, really good. Please? Um, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, boss. How may I be of assistance today? 
I'm sure you've heard about what happened at the Opera House. Someone got turned into water right in front of us. I've heard. With something that dramatic, I'm sure journalists will milk it for all it's worth. And it'll be all the talk for the next several weeks. It also reminded me, on the day that the incident happened with my father, it was raining outside, and we found some clothes left at the scene. After my partner here put the dots together for me, I feel like we should try to reopen his case. Can you do me a favor and try to recall what happened that night? Hmm, let me think. Mr. Callis was feeling pretty upbeat that day. Oh, so he was drinking and bantering away with us at the table. I, I see. After that, he told us that he wanted to go get some fresh air. So we let him go without thinking much of it. Who knew that we would hear two gunshots ring out right after? Damn. My first reaction was that Mr. Callis's life was in danger. So I grabbed my holster and made a mad dash toward the scene. But when I got there, it was already too late. Mr. Callis was standing over a dead body with a gun in his hands. All we could do was look back and forth at each other, not knowing what to say. Damn. So you also remember two gunshots then? Indeed. The guard said that the first shot didn't hit anyone, while the second killed Jacques. But I've never really bought that explanation. Reason being, Mr. Callis had left his gun on the table. I even made sure to confirm that before running to the scene. Damn. <laughs> but according to the guards, that doesn't mean he couldn't have had other guns on his person. About the okay. clothes left at the scene that you mentioned, do you think there was a third person there who was turned into water? It's very possible. At least from our perspective, my father had no reason to kill. So he would also have no reason to bring an extra gun with him. The gun he was holding probably belonged to Jacques or a third person on the scene. That makes a lot of sense. So you're saying Mr. Callis ended up with the gun because he seized it from one of the other guys? But hold on. If that's what had happened, then why didn't he share the truth with any of us? He didn't even want to face the Oratrice machine and chose Oratrice. instead to prove his honor in a duel. Did he lose <laughs> all faith in the courts after seeing someone dissolve right in front of his eyes? About that, Malus told me a thing or two. So... I think I can understand why he committed to the duel. I'll tell you everything, once the whole truth has been revealed. I understand. Then, I'll leave Mr. Callis's honor in your hands, boss. And okay. if I may just say one more thing. The whole Callis the unfaithful epithet has been a thorn in my side since the day it was invented. Many people have laughed at me for still calling him Mr. Callis. Even after so many years have passed. <laughs> But it was Mr. Callis's trust that allowed me to rise through the ranks of Spina di Rosula and live the life I lead today. No matter what others might say, he'll always be the man I respect the most. Aren't you a bad guy, though? <laughs> don't worry. I will definitely find the truth. I don't remember. Truth. I'm you pretty sure those people all our other who comrades at the are Spina deserve to know the like truth as well. Enemies within our camp, or so, or like are working for other people. Wait, wait. wait. Uh, regarding Florent, Florent, the advisor of Spina de Rosula, claimed that he was very grateful to Callus. Yes. Now, how about it hit you? Ha ha ha. In Honkai Star Rail, I'm pretty sure you just walk right through NPCs. In here, it's just uh, normal NPC behavior. You don't walk right through them. You, 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 you can, you can walk into them. <laughs> but yeah. Go over here. And also, so good. Um, you, you know how I was like, um, building Honkai Star Rail? So I was building- Oh, it's this guy. So I started building, um, a while ago, I started building, a uh, fucking Bellabog, the city and stuff. And so I lost all of my footage for that, because I recorded it. So whenever that video does come out, once I finish it, um, then there's just going to be a, 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 a huge chunk missing of it. I've made most of the floor area at like um the platform the, the ground and shit and then the stairwell the stairways a little bit of some of the walls and stuff the streets and the the tracks i guess the where the tram runs uh, runs over but yeah all that stuff is not going to be in the final video because i lost the footage hey thierry it's me <laughs> oh now what brings you here miss navia I've heard that you made quite the name for yourself at the Opera House. Oh, so you've caught news of that already. Oh, okay. 
Hey, I'm also a member of the guards. The way you make it sound, people would think I was sent off to Poisson because I had done something <laughs> wrong. Poisson, bro. Are you sure there isn't a little bit of truth in that? Under normal circumstances, shouldn't you have been called back to the city already? <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, where I work is really up to me. Let's just say I enjoy the ambiance of Poisson. Callus did a Poisson. fantastic <laughs> job running the town. Building Spina di Rasula from the ground up and clearing many obstructions in my way. It would be next to impossible for me to find a similarly easy but high paying job in the city. <sighs> anyway, enough chit chat. Are these two friends of yours? You, uh, here for some formal business? Yes, these two are my partners. Mm -hmm. What happened at the Opera House made us realize that Linny's case and my father's may be related. We're trying to reinvestigate the details of my father's old case. Uh, I get it. You think there might be more to the case now that we know people can be dissolved into water, right? Yeah. If you want to go through the original files from your father's case, I can help you look for them. That'd be much uh, appreciated. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Uh, actually, I have another question. Do you have the authority to dispatch Gardamex? Of course. Without them, I couldn't possibly handle Poisson on my own. <laughs> Why do you ask? We definitely can't use them to forcefully get more evidence for your father's case. Well, That's definitely see, not what I was just thinking. Just recently, yeah. we were attacked by a horde of unnumbered Gardamex in the city. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> if you hypothetically wanted to do something against me, all you would need to do is get rid of the Mecha serial numbers and send them after me. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> then you think too highly of my abilities. Batching Mecha is very different from controlling them. Uh -huh. If I had to make an analogy, when you order a dish, the chef will make it for you. You can ask the chef to cook, but not to massage your shoulders or carry your baggage. Damn. If you try to make unreasonable demands, the chef would just think you're out of your mind and ignore you completely. The same goes for me and my Gardamex. Yeah. Okay. Removing a serial number is also not as easy as you might think. There are a lot of complex steps to it, and it's almost impossible to keep it a secret. So I can promise you, those mecha were definitely private units. They're uh, certainly okay. not cheap. So, whoever their owner is must be super rich, powerful, or both. Damn. Did you mention it though? Super rich? Being in the synth business would definitely be profitable enough to afford this. Makes sense. Oh, <laughs> then you're officially in the clear, Thierry. What if it is still him, bro? <laughs> oh, thank you for the vote of confidence, Navia. Jokes aside, I'd like to wish you all the best with your investigation. Oh. I'll be staying in the city for a little while, so just come find me if you need any support from the guards. Uh huh. Information regarding theory. Okay. Now where do I go? Contact um, Marcel. Who? Marcel's the old guy, right? Let's, let's go and contact Marcel. At the payphone or something like that, right? We're going to a payphone. I don't know. We gotta come down here. It's a woman. Hello. How may I help you? I'm here know. to see Marcel. Could you Marcel? please let him know? So You can share. I will let him know right away. Do it. Do it. I don't know. Navia, hello. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's I'm still not dead. as young as I used to be, so my legs are giving out a bit. Seems like a skill issue oh, right it's there. it's all right, Uncle Marcel. There's no need to stress. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about what happened in the Opera House. I'm sure you saw everything too, right? Yes, uh, I've never seen anything so strange. Oh, you were at the Opera House too? That's right. I went there with Navia to see the magic show. Who I also witnessed your marvelous sleuthing work. Quite impressive. To beat the Hydro Archon at her own game on her own turf, I can already imagine everyone in Fontaine discussing your exploits over a few glasses of wine. <laughs> Damn. Paimon doesn't want to become the talk of drunkards. <laughs> Apologies. It's just how Fontaine is as a nation. Probably Everyone already are, Paimon. Uncle Marcel, you've also noticed that other thing, right? The fact that humans can dissolve in water? Yes. I was reminded of your father's case right away. Is that what you're investigating now? Yes. Exactly. 
I, I still don't have much solid proof, but I can sense that the other side has already begun to act. Mm -hmm. Oh, and what makes you say that? We were attacked on Araneus by some unnumbered Gardamax. And there was also an attempt to get me to drink water from the Primordial Sea. If not for the vigilance of my partner, I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you right now. Oh, you're giving us too much credit. Wasn't it you who protected us? Yeah, totes. Alas, it seems things are heating up again. The peace that Callus sought so dearly will soon become a thing of the past. Oh no. But rest assured, That's not Nana, good. Poisson will always remain Poisson. a safe haven for you. If you're scared, you can always return there. If anyone dares to lay their hands on you there, the Confrérie of Cabriere will use its funds to the last Mora to bring them to justice. Yes. Thank you, Uncle Marcel. I guess. Uh -huh. But I don't intend to go into hiding. <laughs> I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. Do you uh -huh. have any new thoughts on my father's case? Uh, yeah. About that. Sorry, my age is catching up with me. So it'll take me a while to recall my memory. The Confrérie was responsible for that banquet. So I was out and about the whole time making sure things were running smoothly. I didn't uh, even huh. have the time to drink with the guests. Then I heard the sound of a gunshot, and the rest was history. Oh, it's okay. No need to push yourself. We'll ask around some more. See if there are any valuable clues elsewhere. Sounds good. Just let me know if you ever need Mora. All my wealth I need comes Mora. from Callus's patronage and support. <laughs> I'll spend however much it takes to clear his name. I need Mora, bro. I have, like, hardly any Mora. I'm running out. Because, like, uh, it's something I, I never thought would happen me running out of mora look at this well i have more and more now but like i had a lot more before and i had a lot less earlier but i just completed some quests but i want to level up this weapon because this weapon seems like I don't, I don't know it just fits kooky i yeah i usually like picking weapons that that match the character that uses it why do i have this on bennett i don't know this is a uh, Bavonia sword. I have a, this one. I don't know. This okay. Whatever. 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 All that stuff is. If the Arataki un, game stirs up any trouble, I'll un, drag uh, every last one of them back un, to apologize. I don't know the word. What what word is it? I don't. Unimportant, I guess. Something like that. I don't know what word it is. Let's head up here. We've talked Navia. to all three suspects, purely based on their conversations with me. None of them mm -hmm. sounded particularly suspicious. They're all sus, though. So I don't know. Yeah, none of them really stood out as a suspect. Mm, I, I suppose that's to be expected, though. If a single conversation's all that's needed to find them out, then my father wouldn't have needed to investigate the case for so many years. Mm -hmm. Anyway, even though we didn't make a breakthrough, let's still compile what we were able to find. Okay. Hmm. But where should we start? But you're right! Flora mentioned that Callus probably only ended up with the gun because of circumstance. Hmm. According to Jacques' family members, he already told them that he had been discovered and that he had no choice before he left home that day. If I had to guess, he probably received an order from the synth boss to kill my father. Had he refused, he and his family's lives would have been forfeit. So, Jacques fired the first shot? If it was Jacques. Oh? And why is that? Could he guarantee his safety after killing Kalis? Could he guarantee his family's safety after killing Kalis? Oh, that's a good point. Jack probably already knew that he was just being used as a tool for murder. And once he had completed his mission, he'd be of no more use to his boss. Uh huh. huh. So, what would make more sense from his perspective would be to turn his back on the order and seek protection from my father. Seems the third person was the one who derailed everything. Mm, makes sense. But without evidence, that's still just a theory. A game! Besides Jock, the attack from the Gardamex has been bothering me quite a bit as well. It's uh -huh. obvious that our enemy has become more antsy after the secret of the primordial seawater was revealed. Okay. Do you think he knew, even then, that we'd follow this lead to the end? Maybe? Given everything that's happened since, uh, it's quite possible. But uh -huh. who among the three suspects would have the ability to control privately owned Gardamex? Florent, Thierry, Marcel. Oh. Uncle Marcel? Uh, hmm. 
My father did really trust him. He's the wealthiest person here. And they here. worked together on a large <laughs> number of projects. Maybe that's how he got to know Jacques. And like, like, it's, well, he's wealthy. And with funds from the Contrary, yeah. he could also afford a large number of Gardamex. Still really hard for me to imagine, though. After all, Uncle Marcel has been around since I was just a child. Okay. So, what so if what? this mean he has been spending a whole lot of mora and energy to fight his own synth business? Maybe it was someone else. Florent? Florent? It is true that he was closest to my father, and thus had the best chance of learning about his dealings with Jacques. But, as Spina de Rosula's advisor, his work mostly deals with personnel and security. So, he shouldn't have much means when it comes to finances. So you're uh -huh. saying he's too broke to afford a mecha army? Exactly. He can't. And even if he could, I don't think he would be able to dispatch a whole group so quickly. We just wanna... We only have this one Thierry. Oh, I don't... Thierry, you say? What about Thierry? Huh. Thierry? It is possible that he's figured out a way to convert the Gardamex for personal use. But... Maybe, but... I didn't feel I like don't he was know. lying when he was talking to us about the mecha. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Had he actually That's why it has to be Marcel. We'd be able to prove it with a simple check of the guards' inventory. Yeah. If the mecha were taken from the guards, it should be pretty easy to find out when and how that happened. Who could it be? It's what Marcel, I think. I think. <laughs> okay. Information regarding Florent. Florent, for Laurent, uh, the advisor of Spinozzi Rizula, claimed that he was grateful to Kayla's. Kayla's cake. Case records, those are irrelevant. Information regarding Flint, regarding Theory. Theory is the person responsible for official contact between the Spino di Rosula and the guards. According to him, only the sufficiently rich can privately own a large number of Gardamex. Marcel is the leader of the Conferti of uh, Cabriere and was the organizer of the banquet years prior. The Conferriere and the Spino di Rosula have always maintained a close working relationship. Though, his recollection of the events of the case is quite foggy. He's willing to defend Navia. It has to be him. You know, if you think everything through, Uncle Marcel is indeed the most suspicious of them all. Could we be missing other <laughs> suspects? Malus didn't know about the people turning into water thing when he narrowed it down to these three, did he? I don't know. Malus has always been very reliable. And his judgment of others' trustworthiness has been fair and well considered. When he laid out his case for the three, the rationale he gave me made a lot of sense as well. The suspect is knowledgeable about the Spina's internal affairs, has the means to dispatch Mecha to assassinate us, and possesses significant intellect and foresight. Maybe? I don't know. Even if I don't Check. want to believe well, I'm sure it, it didn't. I'm starting to see how things could all tie back to Uncle Marcel. It has to be Uncle Marcel. Not shit. Hey, he is someone who's very close to you after well, all. We still have another trump card on top oh, of all the theorizing okay. and speculating. Damn. Oh shit. The synth production. Yes. Bits. Malus did say that charging straight in there would be extremely risky. But we yes. don't have any other options right now. Oh shoot, I didn't know it does that. Okay. We need far more solid proof before we can hope to go charging in on our enemy. Yes, we need proof. Navia, here you are. Thierry. I've been looking for you. Okay. Huh? Aren't you the guy from the guards? Did something happen? Yeah. News came from Arrhenius just after you left. We've got another trial on our hands. Wasn't that place built specifically for holding trials? What's so new? Oh, I know. But they said the person they're putting on trial is a Fatui harbinger called Tartaglia. Tur Tartaglia? <laughs> what? Is that someone you know? <laughs> Tartar. Yeah, we know him. Maybe even a little too well. Yeah. Well, he's been accused of being the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. Are you serious, dude? It's absurd, don't you think? <laughs> of course Wait, that's absurd. Wow. None of our investigations have had anything too, to do with too him. Too much of an idiot uh, regarding that. That's what I thought was strange about it. So I came to tell you the news right away. Yeah. Yeah. If the charge <laughs> against him stands, then it'll be next to impossible to get the guards to support any of our planned investigations. Yeah. Right. Because they'll think they've already found the culprit. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it'll be a lot harder then to clear Mr. Callis's name. Looks like we're defending Tartaglia now. I understand. 
Well, partner, what do you think we should do? We still haven't found any conclusive evidence. Um... Uh, um... Let's split up. Split up? Yes. What do you mean? Uh, you can go to Arianu while I'll go investigate that place. I'm confident in my combat abilities. This one. <laughs> Just as expected of my partner. Since this is a trial about the serial disappearances case, the culprit's attention will be focused on Aaron. You're oh, right. Shit. This is our best opportunity. <laughs> All right, then. Let's do this. I'll yes, let's I do it. I won't have any chance of making that charge stick, though, unless we find more evidence. It'll be up to you to make it back in time and hand the decisive evidence to me. Leave it to me. We'll help you, just like you helped us in Lenny's trial. Yes. Demoiselle, please allow us to accompany you. Malus. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's uh, go. Malus, Silver, when did you two get here? We heard that you'll be leaving Poisson and figured that you might require our assistance. Get your it's old man ass out of here. Your confidence will be bolstered with the two of us by your side. <laughs> Thank you so much. Then, let's make haste for Arrhenius. Paimon, yes. Traveler, I'll see you at the Opera House. Yes. See you then. Yes, we're going to defend freaking Tartaglia now. Suspect's analysis. Now, what? What's going on? It's raining. Why is it raining? Now that Navia has set out for Arrhenius, we should also get going. God damn. The location has already been marked on the map, so let's head over. Damn. And the map's canon? We're right next to it, dude. Okay. The map's canon, apparently. But I want to level up uh, Kuki right now. There we go. 26. Bam. Kuki. <laughs> okay. So let's head over here. Which, it's raining, so... When all returns to the waters... Um... Find the entrance to the headquarters. Let's go and try to find the entrance! Okay, it's right over here. I guess. I don't know. Somewhere around here. Yay! No more rain. And then lightning strikes the water, and then... I die, and every fish down here dies as well. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay. Now what? Find the entrance to the headquarters. Where is the entrance to the headquarters? Oh, right there. Yay, we made it to the entrance to the headquarters. Okay. Finally found it. <sighs> How are you speaking so underwater, Paimon? That leads to the synth production base. Uh, well, they it don't sure want it to stand out. out of the ordinary at all. Yes, but I'm sure what we find inside will be extraordinary. You're right. An important yeah. place like this is bound to have a ton of protective measures and mechanisms. Yeah, seriously, how are you breathing underwater? <laughs> how, well, not really how are you breathing. How are you talking right underwater? Why is there an echo? You're underwater. It should sound like... Boom, boom. Meanwhile, inside the opera, uh, Epiclus. It's... Okay. It would appear that I oh, must repeat Nivet. my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Do you accept the charge that you are the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. However, I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a duel to clear their name. Is that right? In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist, Clorend, right? <laughs> I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers <laughs> okay, I've damn. ever received. Damn, when okay. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. Damn. Hey, don't you understand? You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. This isn't the place for you to be looking for fights. Shut up, Farina. Oh? Sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on the ways of the <laughs> Opera House. Damn. Then why don't you duel me too? I'm the kind of student that learns best in the heat of battle. <laughs> Bro, what's the uh, uh, real no, no, challenging no, no. Farina to That's a fight? That's not what I meant. Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. We have made very little progress. <laughs> in that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. That case had nothing to do with him! You've got the wrong man! What's going on? <sighs> Why is she interjecting again? <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. <laughs> I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. 
I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? We can put that discussion aside for now. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default, correct? Oh, a young lady has charged <laughs> in and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Dude, child's well, <laughs> I've gotten half Damn, bored bro. to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience, but that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Why is he even suspicious in the first place? <laughs> what now did you do, Tortaglia? Who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is... Okay. Oh. Callous, uh, uh, callous case records. Let's do that. Something's not right. Or no, it's not that one. Okay. Testimony from Jacques. Information regarding Florent. Permission, um... Or no, it was Marcel. Marcel! The head of Confrerie of Cabriere! Huh? What confrery? Never heard of them in my life. Oh, I've heard of about? them, but weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister organization? Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? Damn. Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, that charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. So Committing what? Committing to the charge also means <laughs> taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it. Oh, okay, so and what? If the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation. Knowing this, do you still wish to charge this man? Yes, I do. <laughs> Damn. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. Damn. After some time, a shocked and confused Marcel is brought to the stands. Mr. Marcel. You will not require an attorney. Is that correct? Damn. Apologies, sir. It all just happens so quickly. I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. No. Very well. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago, to the case of Callus the Unfaithful. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? Why would I well, do that? it wasn't you Callus specifically. Was and remember, both Maybe. you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? Uh, I think no point in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm <laughs> struggling to remember some detail of that case. Bro, for, 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 bro. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. Yes, let's I see. do this. We'll in which case, I will Rampus recount style. the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. Who's that? Nivellet Navia. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula uh -huh. hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Conferie of Cabriere. Yes. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callus, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot wound. The yes. guard's investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, while the second must have taken Jacques's life. The suspect uh -huh. did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. Instead, he chose to prove his innocence through a duel. Callus okay. was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel, and soon succumbed to the injuries. These are the known facts about the case. The one with the motive to kill was Jacques, not my father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. In huh. truth, the third person shot Jacques first, and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. After okay. that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, erasing all traces of him from the scene. Thank you for the summary, <laughs> Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. 
However, we should revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the Primordial Sea. Let's do this. On the day of the murders, Pina de Rizula hosted- That's true. During the banquet, all attendant guests heard two gunshots. Yeah. Um, probably this one. Let's see, this one. Hold on, what was this one again? I don't know. Let's see. Primordial, primordial seawater. Kayla's case records. Refuse? No, Something's not that. Actually, hold up. Uh, this one was probably maybe the testimony of uh, this one. No, I'm pretty sure this one has to be one of them. No, this one's probably the primordial no, the case record. Yes. Okay. This assassin first shot Jacques, then turned to shoot Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. This one, um, during the banquet, they had the two gunshots. This one was for this guy? No. This one, suspected, not dispute. This one, primordial seawater? Yes, okay. A pile of clothing was found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice. What now? This one for... Maybe this one or this one. I don't... Which one would it be? That the one. testimony okay. of the victim's <laughs> family confirms that Jacques had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he set out for the banquet. However, unfortunately oh, for Jacques, the true culprit had already considered this possibility and had sent out another assassin. Okay. Realizing this, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. This is the true version of events. Damn. Okay. Hey, the, the scales are leaning towards us. Successful refutation. That's what happened. Yes, that is what happened. Wait, you're telling me something as dangerous as water from the primordial sea has been used for all these years? Yes. What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. <laughs> you should provide a rebuttal if you wish to prove your innocence. Uh, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. Uh, then, may I ask some questions? In my opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. Yes. One, do you have the evidence to back up your claims? Uh, <sighs> I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. Boo! <laughs> Shut up. If you don't have any evidence... You should go home. I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect it. If we look up the deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time, huh? we should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Monsieur Nivellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little differently today? <laughs> Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? <laughs> Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen in the last trial. Damn. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least mounted a defense. I thought about uh, this too, okay. and the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. At that time, Spina di Rosula was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. Boss once told me that Demoiselle had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. What? Hmm. If the yeah. secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. 
Of course, the guards might eventually wow. figure out the truth of the matter and determine that we were in the right. Okay. <laughs> what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. Once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera Makes house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. So, you Close mean to the say your sound. father intended to die in the duelist's ring? That's right. Uh, you have any proof? Of course. Proof? All you need is to ask his opponent, Clorand. <laughs> Damn. I don't need your okay. apology. Your guilt or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. But Man. since he entrusted his will to you, Clorand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. I want Clorand. When does she come out? <laughs> uh, so, during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? Yes, I did. As a champion, I fought character. many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives in my yeah. line of work. I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest <laughs> hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. Just uh, one look uh, and I can tell damn. if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. Since that's damn. your testimony, <laughs> I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Uh, right? Water. Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> scary. My point. alarm went off. Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearances case? Of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of timing. In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. And at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. So that's why you suspected me. Uh, yes. Even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. Sh shut up, Marcel. Though. You've always been an impulsive and You're the bad child, guy. It's one of your most endearing traits. No uh -huh. need to appeal to pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? Uh, no. Nah. She can say to that. No. Nah. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? Shut up. But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah well. Let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. It's timing Damn. again. Timing. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya Rose from I was young, to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. I already know he's a bad guy, bro. He's from Shesnaya. Everyone from Shiznai is a bad guy. The began before <laughs> I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. Mm hmm. Are you sure about that? I do apologize, Demoiselle. This was my mistake. No, it's not your fault. I'm sure he had come prepared. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Bro, for would real, came like prepared. Would you like the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? You can also take a look at my border entry records. Or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. 
Well, time to go, Shaznaya. <laughs> Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? Damn, how are we gonna do this? She got the wrong guy. Shut up, audience member. Nabi will be convicted for falsely accusing him. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. But aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious, instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Once you've learned Damn. to be more considerate of others' feelings, and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. This isn't just about me. And it never has been. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. While that same agency has long been taken from them, the people whose families were destroyed by huh. synth abuse, the people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming to those of you in the audience as well. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? Huh. You do know that name. I have merely surprised you'd suddenly- I oh, was damn it. waiting for you to say that. A little while earlier at the entrance of the synth production base. Damn, bro. <laughs> Vache. He knows Vache. We are here. Uh, uh, where, where do I go? Up there. Let's see. What's up here? Oh, that was weird. Okay. Where do we go? What's this? Door of Resurrection. What? Okay. Party setup. What does that mean? I can't just go here and change my party? No? Okay. Well, I guess I have to go there and change my party. Which I think this door will close. Fuck. Do I have a good team? Kave, Kuki, Kutau, Farina? I don't know. Let me see. Do I have I don't do I have the artifacts on Raiden? No, I don't. I need to put those on Raiden. Put that one on. This one, why are you on Chong Yun? Okay, you got those, got those, and uh this one right there. There we go. This one it says this one's new, but it's not. I don't know. Whatever. Uh my should I get Shogun? Let me see. Uh get rid of Kuki, put Shogun. I'll keep Kave actually. I'll keep Kave. There we go. Okay. This should be good. And sup, suckers. It didn't close. That's good. There's a lot of people here. I don't know why I got Shogun when these guys are Electro, but whatever. Whatever. That guy now dead. Okay. Then we have this. What exactly are we doing here? Whoa, we're, we're trying to find evidence. It's called an elevator, Paimon. Is it because of this mechanism in the middle? Yes. That guy really prepared a lot of stuff for this place. Well, yeah, it's an elevator. You've never been in an elevator before? Uh, yeah. How does Paimon work? She's levitating. But wouldn't she just move to the ground? Because that's how Paimon gravity works. I don't, up, I don't know. Paimon doesn't see a way. Let's take a look around. Ah! Maybe we'll find a hidden mechanism that'll show us the way up. God damn. Down there? Down there, are you serious? I have to go down there? How do we go down there? Uh oh wait, I forgot, we're in Fontaine. There we go. <laughs> Hold up. What do I need to do here? Um what what do I need to do there? I need to break that wall. Actually, I take that and come over there and use it on the wall. There we go. Bam, did it. There's a weird statue there. Oh I can uh I can dive. Over here and turn that on. Will this door open? It's, it's draining the water. Oh, what the heck? What? What does that do? <laughs> the water level is rising. Now we can swim to the top. Oh, that's but that bit. This is still a ways away from where we need to go. Are you sure, Paimon? Are you <laughs> sure? Pretty sure Paimon's sure, but whatever. Let's eliminate these guys. There is no escape. En enemies are a pain in the ass. I never know what to say. <laughs> I never know what to say in, in these videos. I don't really have much interesting things to talk about, I guess. I'm not that much of an interesting person. I have nothing related to Genshin stuff. I just know, you know, um, Raiden comes out next update. 
uh, the next banner, Raiden, is gonna be there. I don't know who's gonna be the other character, but I forgot. But I wonder when uh, Koran comes. Like, Koran's gonna be a 5 star character, right? I kinda want her, though. It's gonna take forever to get her, though. I don't know. I'm going to try and get- Even though I already, like, wasted $400 on both Lucal and Freena. So, like, 400 in total. Uh, with both of them. And I don't really want to spend more money, so I'm gonna try to save Primos. Even though I already wasted a lot recently. Trying to get characters. That's where I got uh, Kave and Kuki from. Um, yeah. But let's just get all of this and come this way. To this. N another mechanism. Touch it. It opens the door, right? It does. It raises the water m more. Raises the water more. And the door is open. Okay. I don't know how far we need to go in here. Are we almost out? The door? Yes, the door open. Okay. Yes, let's go. My Farina or my Hutao is almost dead, so I need to heal Hutao. I need to heal Hutao right now. That heal Hutao. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? I need to go where? Where do I need to go? I can't go anywhere up here, so I gotta go down there. What's down here? Huh. Okay, there's another chest over here. Pretty cog. Got some ore. Uh, we do that. It opens this door. And what's over here? More enemies. Okay. Okay. They, they, they're welcoming us. They're just standing there. Menacingly. Okay. These guys don't look like... Well, these guys look like a pain in the ass. But whatever. Uh, let's try to get them out of there while Kaveh dies. Exterminate. 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 Okay. I 82? Are you serious? 82? Probably because I raised my world level to level 6. Damn it. That's not good. These guys are really strong. Um, damn, I shouldn't have brought Kave. Why did I think bringing Kave was a good idea? Um. Uh. Use Farina. Oh, charge. There you go. Come on. Damn, these guys have so much health. I'm doing, doing something because of my, my water minions. So those guys are really strong. They do a lot of damage. But, yeah. By the way, they're almost dead. These, these water minions are really good. They do a lot of damage. And yet, there is more. There's these dogs. The damn dogs. Okay, this dog left. Strike a pose? Nah. Okay. Almost dead. And is this the last guy? Yes, he is. This way. This way now. What? What is this way? Okay, now we're in a cave. We're 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 in a cave now. Hopefully we can we can get through this quickly because I want to get this over with. If I'm not mistaken, uh, he's being charged by Navi as we speak. That's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the opera house and help Navia. Yes, let's do that. What evidence though? Hold up. I move I move I move back. There you go. What's all this? Huh, oh, it's a bunch of really cute things. Pink Damn. accessories, a hair tie, a necklace, even a makeup box. Huh. Oh, uh, there's a name too. Oh. Paimon sees a cube, but why are all these cute things labeled with different girls' names? They probably belong to the victims! Huh? You mean the girls from the serial disappearances? They were brought here? And then they were turned into water. And all the boxes of things. These names. That means... Oh, this is terrible. Missing persons per, uh, possessions. Damn, okay. <laughs> What? What now? There's some s stuff over here. Whoa! There's so much synth here. And That's so a lot. Many bottles of ingredients that probably just contain the waters of the primordial sea. There are so many. Mm. Mixing in progress. Ready to drink. Stack sample? Huh? They've also got all the synth pretty clearly labeled. There's even fruit flavored synth. Well, that definitely proves that this is where the. Proto where they produce synth. Yep, it's super obvious. 
Okay, we got synth. Cool. Now, over here. Let's see what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. Hmm, callous. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him. Probably related to, um, his and Jacques' case. Yep, it's about finding someone to assassinate Jacques and Callus because of a lack of confidence that Jacques himself would go through with it. Damn. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Yes. Is there anything else? Hmm, we still have not determined the exact <laughs> Content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. He can uh -huh. act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, seems like we've got a Damn. bunch of okay. correspondence between the higher-ups. <laughs> Plan this well in oh, advance. They're all just so evil. Not that. They are. Click it. We got callous investigation reports. Okay. We got our clues. Is there anything else? Mm, I can't go that way. Uh, there's this right here. That must be the water from the primordial sea. That means this is where they make all the synth. And that special water is the main ingredient. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth. But the pure stuff can dissolve a human. Paima will take notes on this incriminating evidence. Uh, primordial seawater pool. Do we have everything? Besides the investigation reports, there's a lot of research material here. It seems their experiments has been going on for a very long time. Damn. Okay. Is, is there anything else here? I don't see anything. Oh, look, I get this. Memory of running stream. Okay, I get a, a hydro constellation. But is there anything else? Pool full of water from pr primordial sea? Um, examine table? Yeah, okay. What's this over here? Looks like some kind of place for research. Huh? Experiment number 16 aims to verify Jacob Ingold's research conclusions on the Primordial Sea and use his theory as a foundation to achieve a breakthrough. The experiment was a failure. No individual managed to resurface from the water from the Primordial Sea. Female specimens 22, 23, and 24 were dissolved. Damn. Uh, uh, calm down, Paimon. Sorry, traveler. the rest Paimon's too scared to keep going the goal of the researcher uh is to save his lover a woman called uh Vin near who was dissolved so that's why he did all of these experiments wait did he really think he'd be able to find a way just by dissolving people over and over that's just insane there's another name here Basha. is it that the name you heard by the fountain Paimon thought he was an eyewitness in the serial disappearances case. He is the researcher. Ah, you mean Vache is the one who did all of these experiments? Yes, he signed off on a bunch of the experiment reports. The voice I heard from the fountain was probably Vignier. So that's it. Vache was no victim, but personally took his lover and... No, that's not it either. If that's the case, why do you <laughs> want people to resurface from the water? There must be more to this than meets the eye. In any case, Paimon will write it all down. Damn. That's all the info. We've looked at almost everything here and it seems like our theories were spot on. But Who really is this Vashar? We haven't found anything that reveals his true identity. No wonder even Nervalette wasn't able to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. But maybe not clever enough. Let's go sure look thing. again. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. Yes. Let's go. Look for clues on Vasher. Where did we go look for those clues? Maybe over here. 
According to records, Vasher, uh, yeah, nothing about Vasher's true uh, identity. Nothing there. Maybe the stuff over here. One. This one. Nothing. I can't. Okay, maybe this one over here. Oh yes. Okay. You take that side, and Paimon will take this side. Check him. Okay. Nothing at all. And Paimon can't even find snacks either. <laughs> Why would there be snacks down here, Paimon? Click it. Paimon, I found it. Oh, really? What Paimon see? It's a book. Premier. Isn't it Vashe's lover's name? Then you found her diary. Let's see. Aw. It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet, too. Oh, Paimon feels even worse for her now. <laughs> she made a list of baby names, A. A. No, wait. Take a look at this page. I don't understand what that says. Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was Marcel. Marcel. Wait, but <sighs> Marcel's pretty old. Has this case been going on for so long that he's Fache and Veneer's grown son? Damn, figured it out. Let's go. Okay. Hey! Paimon still hasn't <laughs> figured it out yet. Yes. Uh, Vignard's notebook. Okay, let's go. After obtaining the final piece of key evidence, you race back to the opera Epiclus. Damn. We uh and whose image we found do you this. see? Marcel. Is it a man named Vache? Oh. So you do know that I'm merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. Are you sure about I that? I was waiting for you to say that. Nadia! We're back! Uh, as expected of my partner. I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Just how often do you <laughs> intend to flout the rules of this court? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalet. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. Yes, we have. You say you've never heard of Vache. Let's give the diary. Select. But the truth of it, Marcel. We're talking! That you've always been Vache. Bruh. Kind of feels like a fucking um king fucking 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 damn it got makoto nayagi huh we've investigated your lair and we already know everything after your lover veneer was dissolved you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you you even created marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as bache so that's it even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. <laughs> and with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? You fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Your determination? <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? Damn. Pay attention to you. <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vinyar's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now <laughs> you know, don't you? Goddamn. Well, it's too late now. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice, your beloved drama, while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vinyar is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. And why didn't you kill your sister? I will follow, but I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. 
no matter what I do. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. <laughs> do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that. And in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life <laughs> living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> the suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't anybody come near me. I still need to save Vinyer. Her promise. We made a promise. <laughs> Vinier, please, Vinier, don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. Damn. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. <laughs> Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, oh, shit. I'm actually my feeling mic. pretty good. Damn. Traveler. Please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. Okay. Nivla proceeds to review and compile the, the evidence. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche, and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover, Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the primordial sea, and was dissolved in front of Varche as a result. Vache learned of the primordial water's existence through the work of others and began to kidnap young women for research with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the primordial sea can induce feelings of euphoria and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Varche decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Varche expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Varche attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his Damn. attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Varche's machinations that he was eventually successfully charged in court. Thus Damn. concludes the enigmatic history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. Damn, the clapping's pretty weak. The Oratrix will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. Yes. Gah. Whoa. Damn. He is According not guilty. <laughs> he said the thing. Guilty. Oratrix mechanique to Elise Cardinal. He said the thing. It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! We helped Navia bring the bad guy to justice! He's hurt so many innocent people and now he's finally getting what he deserves! Huh? Are you okay? Navia? Demoiselle, you were absolutely brilliant. <laughs> the day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come. You can rest easy now, knowing justice has been served. Yeah. Justice! Yeah, it's finally over. It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. <sighs> See, Papa? <laughs> Spina di Rosula still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. <laughs> Shut up, child! Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to. So, if you'll excuse me... I think not, child. Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. What now? None of this... According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. 
Damn. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Shut up, child. Please respect the laws of Fontaine. <laughs> this has always been the rule. Oh, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict <laughs> on the charges. Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. Tartaglia is guilty. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is guilty. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? But what? This has never happened before. <laughs> the Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? <laughs> Child has been declared guilty by the Oratrice. What is going on here? Judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique <laughs> d'Analyse Cardinalis. <laughs> law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. Dude. <laughs> Bro's about to pick a fight. So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. Damn. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too. Bro's using his electrovision. Dude. They need to add a costume for for Tartaglia like this. Or just at least have like a whole different character for Tartaglia, but Electro. You know, I want to play as Electro Tartaglia. Oh my God, dude. Bro's going full on. What the f <laughs> Dude. I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Dude. <laughs> Nuvalet's so freaking damn, dude. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. If even the Chief Justice doesn't know, then we have no choice but to ask the Archon herself. Uh, why are you looking at me? I had nothing to do with it! I don't know what happened there either! Hey, stop staring at me! What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either, but that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? My <laughs> dearest citizen, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Don't tell me. Uh, <laughs> you thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. Shut up, Frina. But the way she looked just now... It was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock <laughs> and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. Shut up, Farina. Of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Orange 
treats shall never render an arbitrary judgment! If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Bruh. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand <laughs> my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. So <laughs> she chose to make her escape after. So you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? Hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. Way to put the rug out from from way to pull the rug out from under. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Bros are like, damn, okay. Uh, we gotta leave the opera house now. Let's go leave. Kaveh's back alive. Um, yeah, cause he died earlier. Um, yeah. Let's leave the opera house. And why is it higher? What do you mean higher, bro? It's right there. And then we're gonna... Meet up with. Hey, what are you doing? Quick, stop him! What? Esmond. Traveler! Hey! Traveler! Who is this guy? Uh, Marcel! What are you doing over here? Stop oh, that's Marcel. Arrest. I was like, what? Cease, or we'll add another charge to the list. No, wait. I, I just want to ask the traveler something. I I'm not looking to run away. Please, please, just let me ask this one small thing. O okay. Well, why are you over here, Niblet? I was being led away when I finally realized something. Where did you first hear the name Vache? I erased all records of that name. So, unless... Are you still trying to prove your innocence? Give it up. You've already been convicted. I met her. Uh, really? You, you did? You're sure? You met her? It was but around the Fountain of Lucine. How did you manage to do it? The Fountain of Lucine? Then, then she's been so close to me all along. And I just never... Please... Please give me a chance to talk to her again. Just let the traveler take me to the fountain to see her one last time. This is the last request I'll ever make in my life. You can do whatever you want to me afterwards. I don't care. What? Give an inch and you want to take a mile? Do you think serial killers get to make requests like that? Paimon agrees. Why should we give him what he wants when he's only done a ton of super terrible things? This request, Bruh. is it worth as much to you as your life? Of course. Wait, no. It's worth even more than my life. Humans, will they betray the instinct to live just to satisfy spiritual needs? <laughs> Very well. I will grant your request. Okay. Your Honor, I fear that. You fear what? I will go with him. You do not need to worry about any escape. In that case, I shall leave him in your most capable hands, Chief Justice. Thank you, Your Honor. I've been recording for almost an hour and 30. I need to end this soon. Are you gonna make me move? Okay. The quest location is currently involved. What? Oh, what? Quest locate long failed uh, graph advertisable technique. Please complete it first. What's that one? Are you serious? I can't continue it unless I complete the long. Where's that? Do I have it? Dream nursery. I don't. Uh, fount fountain research. No, it's not that one. It's this one. Navigate. Well, guys, I'm gonna end the video here because it's already like an hour and uh, an hour and a half. So, and I also need to work in like an hour. So, I'm ending it here. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Genshin Impact video. I'm gonna make another one maybe tomorrow. Just so I can uh, get through. Because I wanna finish Fontaine already. Just so I can get farther. And yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and bye bye.